So after three chefs, Atul and Bryn have scored relatively low marks, but Nick Nairn's done rather well. Still to come are the big hitters from the North, the Southwest, the Midlands and East, and Northern Ireland. We'll then find out who has made it into the judges' top three. Then it'll be up to you to vote for your favourite dessert and decide which chef will be cooking it for the Queen. So have a pen and paper ready to take down the all-important numbers. Now remember, it's your chance to decide on a pudding fit for the Queen. Our next two chefs are Marcus Waring from the north of England and Richard Corrigan representing Northern Ireland. With two dishes already through to the public vote, Richard's main concern is whether the judges think his dessert is Irish enough. He's making rhubarb with Alfonso mango, freshly churned vanilla ice cream and shortbread biscuits. You don't seem very confident in this. You think the mango's thrown it out for you? I, no, I think Prue would like this. I think Matthew would love this. I do. Oliver is just, you know, if he gives me nil point, I'm sorry. As you, you know like yourself, things. Marcus, hero to zero. Uh, You've been there. Yeah, twice, mate. The mango, hardly native to Northern Ireland, is obviously a weakness. So Richard's reduced the quantity and added some strawberries. You've changed. No, I haven't. Same thing. A rhubarb Alfonso mango. I know, but the, the presentation's different, isn't it? Yes. That's lovely. Yes, it is, because the last time, first time, we always serve in a bowl, and I thought it would look really good, kind of like a crown. Yeah. Off they go! We even top chefs make mistakes, but it's quickly fixed. OK, be very careful. He doesn't want to keep the judges waiting. Well, I don't recognise that at all. <laughs> this, is, this is a completely different dish. It's a totally okay. different dish. No, no, it's not. It's mango and... Um, well, um, mango and it's, it's ma mango's no longer the primary ingredient. And I love the colour, that sort of day glow pink. It does, to me, it depends to, to a huge extent upon the quality of the mango. Yeah, I also think, you know, the problem with this is would you recognise it as intrinsically Northern Irish? You know, I think he has taken the Alfonso mangoes, you know, reduced the quantum of them there. But, you know, one of the things we've been talking about throughout the series is the fact is, can we recognise something, you know, regional about it? And I'm, I'm, not, I'm just not getting that out of it. It's very nice, it's very nice. Did you just put the thorn strawberries in? I have. It's an extra, has he? Yeah. Has he? Well, that... Sneaky dog. While Richard waits nervously back in the kitchen, yeah, it's time for the judges' scores. I think, as we ate it today, it's a truly wonderful pudding, but I think we have to look forward a little bit. And so, on that basis, uh, I'm going to give it a seven, because I'm not quite sure we'll be able to duplicate it as we've eaten it today on the day. Mm. Producing that dish on the day is going to be the problem. But since I so loved it, and I think it's sort of his problem how he produces it, I'm going to give it eight. I think it's a wonderful dish. Well, much as I would like it in any other occasion, I just don't think it's right for this occasion. So, for that reason, I'm going to give it a seven.